Hello there, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. I am Lazy Bones. And, uh, what's up? How you doing? Doing great. Okay, good. If not, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, on the last episode, we uh, freed Trompdoy. What a great fella. He wanted to see my pecker and all the good stuff. So only one, none of them want to see my pecker. <laughs> And we wound up here. Oh, we got a lot of treasure too, which is great. And uh, Losh is, is cursed for all of eternity. So I'm probably gonna have to get a new a new party member. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk to the let's talk to this guy. We know his name before we've met him. Rolic. The helmeted figure before you slowly turns to face you. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm he raises his weapon a great ethereal sword and rushes forward ready to strike you maybe I should have brought the rest of my party members shield yourself and duck hoping to avoid the blow I don't have a shield raise your own weapon whoever this figure is they're going to regret challenging you hold up both hands and shout uh, for the figure to stop you are not its enemy I am not your enemy the figure Plants a foot before you, raises its sword, and commands. Oh no. Fight! Raise your weapon. Prepare to sidestep his attack and strike back. Brace yourself to take the blow. Leap out of the way. Shout for him to stop this madness. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what would you do, old man? Lazy bones, what would you do, do? I think he might uh, strike back. Or maybe leap out of the way. He ain't gonna take no blows, so... Uh, he will not attack unless needed. This, I think he'll do this. This is madness! The figure charges you head on, ready to plunge the sword into your chest. Oh no. As he charges, he suddenly evaporates into the ether, passing through your body. Deep, dark, cold blooms in every particle of your body. My body. Ether. Aether? I think that's. I think I did it right. Continue. Uh, the figure materializes behind you and grabs your head with one hand, pressing his sword to your throat with the other. If you so as breathe too suddenly, it will slice your jugular with ease. Uh, you, you are to be my champion. Tell him to release you if you want to speak to you. If he wants to speak to you. Remain calm. Tell him you have no idea what he means. Ah, tell him he is quickly losing you your fealty if you are indeed what he says. Mm. Mm. Yes, I want to do... I want to do this. Because he's a knight. A knight champion must say this. The time for frailty is gone. The fight to survive is the only remaining battle. He's a ghostly guy, so... The divine is dead. Void woken hunt the night. Do you think I would let my people, our people, suffer so deeply? Without intervening, I choose you to be my champion, but it seems I've chosen wrong. Swing your head back, slicing your neck along his blade, and slam the back of your head against his face. Tell him that... Tell him that against a man of matter and substance, you wouldn't have been caught off guard. 
tell him you are a mere mortal and he is clearly something else. It does not do it does not do to compare his talents with yours. It does not do to compare. I doubt this would work. But would he know that? I think he would. I mean, he kind of wasn't off guard. It gave me a chance to react. So I guess we'll do this one. It's not fair. Not all of our enemies are of the flesh. You will have to do battle as many specters are uh, as men if we are to survive. He lowers his sword, releases you from his grasp, and turns to face him. Turns you to face him. Yes, yes. I wonder if I've made a mistake in you. Tell him the time for mysteries is over. Ask him what he's talking about. Recognizing him as being of great power, you lower your eyes and wait for him to go on. Say he ought to enlighten... To enlighten to as I'm thinking they might have forgot to put you to as to what he means before making any assumptions what are you talking about recognize me you are my champion and I am your god oh he lifts his visor, two deep green eyes, fix you in their stare. In an instant, you know you are speaking to Ralik, god of all humans. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Ask him why he has brought you here. Demand to know why he attacked you. Ask why he and the other seven gods have left Revelon. Revelon. Godless. Revelon. Is it Rive? Rivalon. I don't know. Hmm. Demand to know why you take. Let's go ahead. Hmm. Hmm. This. What? Why'd you bring me here? You have brought yourself. This gives me hope. Should I give a more godly voice instead? I don't know. It's too late. It's too late. I see a spark in you. The beginnings of a fire that might blaze. That may blaze our path back to preeminence in Revelon. This is why I have chosen you to lead humankind back toward divinity. Oh. This is why you are my selected, my God Woken. God Woken? Ask what he means. Say you have your own path to follow, your own goals to pursue. You don't have time for diversions. Uh, try the word out, God Woken. Somehow you'd already suspected you were mm, different. Yes, I'm, I still have my vitality. <laughs> I'm like a hundred and fifty years old. Huh. God welcome. Well, we know what that is. Kind of. Um, uh, actually, I'm quite busy. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you have awoken your full potential, when you have ascended to divinity, path, paths will unfurl before you as you choose. Let me show you. A great surge of power arrests your heart, your mind. When it passes, you feel ecstatic. Replity. Replet. I don't know what <laughs> Rub your hands together. Feel the power that swells between your palms. Ask him what sort of power this is. Hmm. 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 
What sort of power is this? This is a powerful spell. Only one like you can wield it. One marked for greatness. One who can either rise to this great task or let his people fall to ruin. Ask what he wants you to do. Ask why you. The world is full of humans more capable and more experienced. I doubt more experienced. <laughs> Tell Relic he has no right to thrust this burden upon you. Hmm. Hmm. What do you want me to do? Your purpose will be great. But the first step is simple. Escape the grasp of those who would do you harm. You and you alone must safely leave this place. You and you alone must rise above the reach of minor men. Agree. You will do as he says. Say you've made friends here, you care for them, and would see them safely out of harm's reach too. I have friends here! Growlick visibly bristles at the mention of your companions. I am not the only of the seven seeking a champion, my child. Your friends may have been similarly summoned by powers that threaten the very existence of your race. He casts his gaze over the war below, where God fights God in a relentless, bloodless battle. Times have changed. The gods are at war. The victor will choose the terms of peace. If we fail, if you fail, our race may well be lost. A father knows when he may thrust in his children and when he must intervene. I know that you will succeed if you choose it. Do not disappoint me. Ermagur! <gasps> they look at you, curious. Something in you has changed. I went to a strange place. I met a figure. I don't know who it was. The figure gave me a blessing. I suppose I was given a blessing, but I have my doubts. Hmm. Well, the old man Lazy Bones have seen, has he seen some stuff? He's seen a lot of things. He's talked to some statues that talked to him. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's seen some stuff. So, I mean, and we do know who he is. Come on now. <laughs> we know who he is. He's, he's Frank. But, uh... He gave me a blessing! Oh, either way, we need to get moving. Bless. Aw, oh, it... It runs out. That's a shame. What kind of blessing is that? I would say the worst kind. Because it's gone now. Didn't even get to put it to good use. How the heck do I get out of here? Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. We're free. Wait. What? Wait, 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 wait. What's? Oh, it's this stuff. Wait, no. Oh. Right. There we go. No, 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 no. Uh. Oh, target. No, it's okay. Come on, people. Oh, what's the the thing? Bless. Sorcery. Ah, bless target character or surface. 100% chance to set blessed for three turns. So it does resistances. Interesting. And she's still cursed. Ooh, can I remove her? Oops. Can I remove her uh, curse with blessed? Ah, oh, Blade Ring, it's loose. <gasps> oh my god! 
Josh? Ha ha! <laughs> That's amazing! Wow, we can remove it with Blessed, huh? Ah, uh huh. What an interesting find. Ah. So we're gonna sell that thing. <laughs> it's uh, pretty dangerous. Oh, right. Before we go to these Shriekers, uh, we definitely... Let's sell this. Definitely need to... Uh, did we ever check these bodies? Dang it! I need a quick button for that. We need to uh, go and sell the stuff that we have. Oh no, not not sell the stuff. What am I talking about? Give the soul jars to that priest lady that's in the camp here. I'll sell all the things and upgrade the armor and weaponry off camera though. You guys don't, you don't need to see that unless you really want to. Huh? Oh, there you go. Where are you at? Priestess! Yeah, there she is. Yep. Oh, I like her mask. Oh, that's really cool. Look. Hello, later. <laughs> and have you found them? Did you bring the soul jars? You did find them, actually. Ask what she wants with them. Say that you found them, but you have some questions. Hmm. Say that you have it. Um. Hmm. I mean, let's say that you found them, but you have. Let's uh, do this one. Oh, I should have. Okay, okay. They are relics of great power. Please, you must give them to me. If I can make an offering of them to uh, my my dear it could aid your cause huh now Rolic said that the gods are at war is she a god and is she at war with I guess old man lazy bones is God and it would be their hers what it would be only Losha's God is there a god for each race because she's an elf he's a lizard man or humans. The guy said he was god of only humans. So that's confusing. Hmm. Give her the soul jar marked Britannia. Hand her the soul jar with the name that you don't recognize. Hold on the soul jars. You have some questions you'd like to answer first. Questions? Wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Britannia. Questions? There is no time for questions. Just give me the jars. Observe that she seems very keen to get her hands on these jars. Ask why this jar has her name inscribed up. <gasps> That's right. Oh. Why does this jar have your name on it? It matters not. All that matters is that you give it to me. Hand the relic to the priestess. Very well. If she won't cooperate, then neither will you. Put the soul jars in your bag. Smile and hold on. Hold out the jar. As she leans in to take it, drop it to the ground. That's a little mean. That's something, uh, Sybil. And the Red Prince would probably do. Actually, I would say those would do it too. But I am neither... I will not cooperate, if you will not. No, stop, wait! Continue. She reaches up and tears off her mask, revealing a wet skull, stained by centuries. You stare into the empty eye sockets of the undead creature before you. I can't zoom in. No. Continue. Oh, okay. I have waited centuries. Watching lives come and go. Why my soul lies locked in a cage. 
hand over the jar as she puts her mask back on. She looks like she's suffered enough. Put the jar back in your backpack. Tell her you consider it. Stare at her for a moment, then drop the jar. Well, we do know that breaking it... Uh, he's wet. Breaking it would release the soul. So why does she need... I mean, we could do it for her? Put the jar back and... Uh, end of the jar. Nice guy. Ah, I don't remember what her story was either. Was she the necromancer? I remember the name, but I don't remember what the story was involving her. I think he'll drop it because he has experience just breaking it and letting the souls free. If that's what she wants, so he'll do it. Stare at her for a moment. And drop it! No! Oh. Uh-oh. She dives forward, hands outstretched, but the urn slips through her fingers. As it strikes the ground, the jar shatters like glass. No, 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 no. Oh, Amadea, forgive me. Holding her head in her hands, her bones start to fall to the ground, one by one, where they slowly melt to dust. Eventually, her mask clings to the ground, leaving her just leaving her robe fluttering in the breeze. And <gasps> she wanted to stay alive forever. <sighs> That's what she wanted to do. To control her own fate. I hope I didn't make a mistake on this. Oh. 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 Chloroform skill book. Oh. <laughs> I think uh, I'll take that here. I won't uh, use it uh, for any nefarious reasons, I swear. <laughs> and we leveled up. Heck, to the, yeah, level sixes. <gasps> We're all level sixes. Oh, I actually might take on some of those guys that beat me up. <laughs> oh, vengeance. Oh. Oh. oh, thank you for that. Oh, she's dead though. She could have been like something cool or for something. Hmm. Why am I turning those off? That's great. Oh, that reminds me. I had a somebody, a, a viewer, told me about a thing that I haven't tried. I'm gonna try it. So, how do I use this? I'm, on, I'm using Loche. She has the... Wait. Cancel. Can, cancel. Okay. I can't cancel. Maybe I can just do this. Yeah. She has the Laura Master. And... We have to use this identifying glass with the Laura Master to see... To identify stuff. Oh. Level 2. We're not going to do that one. Uh, or that one. Oh. Did we sell it? Those robes. This thing. This thing. Level one. Now let's see. Oh, see? Hmm? I proved you wrong, sir. Level one with a identifying glass does not work. That's not cool. See? Uh huh. Yep. Mm hmm. I was right! Developers? <laughs> Fix it, please! Alright, so. Now that we have that squared away, the jars. Wait, we still have other jars, though. Right? Yeah. Oh, what do we do with these jars? We have a three jars. I guess we can sell them. <laughs> or hold on to them if we run into their souls somewhere. I don't know. Should we take on the Shriekers? Right now? I mean... Nearing the end of the episode. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Actually, give me some advice, people. What should I put my uh, available stuff into? I always give him polymorph for that uh, extra free attribute point. 
uh, beef up his stats here. But should I give him something else? Like uh, destroys? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna give this to myself. Oh, rogue skills. He must be a rogue, I think. Maybe. No. 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 High finesse improves his. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, which, where should I put my skills into? Should I give him this stuff? Something here? I kind of want to give him summoning. Because he's in tune with the animals. He can talk to them? He can give him, make himself horny? <laughs> At will. <laughs> and, I don't know. Same with all of my characters. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Should I, what should I do with this? But I think I'll end the episode here. It's going to be uh, on the shorter end. But uh, on the next episode, I'll make it up to you. We're going to go after the Shriekers. But in between episodes, I'm going to do some stuff. And I'll show you all my great things. So that's going to be it, people, friends, pals, buddies. That's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Divinity Original Sin 2. I am Lazy Bones. Take care of yourselves. Have many good ones. And bye-bye.